In all that's gone on this past week and the last couple of weeks, I thought it was appropriate today to have a time of silence for our nation and especially in church. Sometimes we need to just let the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts and getting quiet is so hard to do in our world. There's always some noise somewhere. So let's just be still for a moment and then we'll share these words of assurance.
scarce heard among, amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Love and were love, and now we lie in Flanders field. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders field. And that's what that surgeon wrote as he looked at that and remembered. Well, that inspired a woman um, from Georgia. When she heard this, she wrote her own poem. I'll read that. It's a short one. But it responds to what he wrote. And I don't think this one is used as much. Her name is Mo Mo Monina Michael. And it was in November of 1918 that she wrote this as a response to Flanders Field. Oh, you who sleep in Flanders Fields, sleep sweet to, uh, to rise anew. We caught the torch you threw, and holding high, we keep the faith with all who died. We cherish, too, the poppy red that grows on fields where valor led. It seems to signal to the skies that blood of heroes never dies but lends a luster to the red of the flower that blooms above the dead in Flanders fields. And now the torch and poppy red we wear in honor of our dead. Fear not that ye have died for naught. We'll teach the lesson that you wrought in Flanders fields. Well, that inspired other people to want to remember. She began wearing that red poppy to and a torch to remind people of those who had died. So they weren't forgotten because they were loved ones of many. And so she did that, and then what happened was the American Legion, a group of uh, veterans and all, decided at a national convention that that would become something that they wanted to do. And so every year you see these cans outside, like grocery stores, drug stores, you know, different places, and you put coins in and they give you a poppy. And you can wear a poppy. But you need to know why you wear poppies. To remember those who have died, our veterans, um, soldiers, sailors, air, all the different branches of the service who have died. And so the poppies lift that up. The money goes to help maintain the graves and things of those, but for the Legion. And then the other poppy, there are two. These are the Legion poppies. They're made out of red crepe paper, and they have their symbol on them. And then there's the VFW's poppy, which is the buddy poppy. And that was made out of silk, um, out of material. And their poppies are made by disabled and needy veterans, and they're sold to help, to help um, take care of. They distribute over 14 million, that's beyond my imagination, poppies a year. So both wear them to promote and remember those who have died. So Memorial Day, when you see the red poppies being sold, whichever kind you see, remember that they're to remind you to wear one in honor and remembrance of those who have died because they fought to give us freedom. Does that make sense? So now whenever you see a poppy, you'll know what it represents. It won't just be, what's that red flower? Why are they selling those? So you'll know. Let's bow the word of prayer. Gracious God, we know you love us and you want us to always remember you, to know that you are always with us no matter what. So be with our children, our young people, be with our world today as we remember those who have gone on before us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. <coughs>